Hey, what up everybody, it's Senny, and this is Gems of War on PS4. And today I'm going to be showing the top 5 teams of 2019. I did this in 2018, the number 1 team of 2018, and it was one of my best videos ever. It um pretty much blew me up to where I am now, which... You know, you can decide whether that's blowing up or not, but one of my better videos of all time. Uh, not my number one video as in views, but it's the one that kind of got me on the map for uh, Gems of War. So in 2018, uh, the number one team, in my opinion, I don't know why it keeps shading this out, but uh, there it is. Uh, Mountain Crusher, Glaceon, Apothecary, King Bloodhammer, uh, the Doom Skull team. That was the team of 2018 for most of the year, so that's what I put as my number one team for 2018. Now, I've done a few of these videos this year already, um, but this is going to be the comprehensive end of year uh, top five best teams uh, of this year, 2019. And I just uh, put the top five teams that I have been using this year in their usefulness. It may not be the number one unbeaten team in PvP or the number one super fast team or you know it might not be the best teams but these are the top five teams I've used this year and I think that's good enough to be called the best team of 2019. So I'm going to show you the top five. Uh, the two through four are pretty much just honorable mentions. Teams that are, I've been using a lot and are really useful. So we're going to go through these and just show them in action and I'll explain a little bit about each one of them and why I put them on the list. Alright, number five. Let's go take it for a spin. Number five is good old Scorpius and your rally uh, used in Explore at Urskea. Urskea is the only kingdom where the troops can be poisoned 100% of the time. So this team gets an instant kill on them because of that. Your rally poisons them when uh, you match four. And then Scorpius gets an instant kill on poisoned enemies. So, or a lethal damage or something. Uh, the damage is lethal on any poisoned enemy. So, well, let's go through a battle real quick just to show it off. But this is my number five. It actually just became one of the top fives as the uh, explore, new explore system came out so uh, but it's really good it's, it's helpful in getting medals but you explode the leprechaun explode the mountain crusher hope you get an extra turn during this time which here it is because we need that poison then some more uh, explosions to get scorpius As soon as we get our turn again here. Instant kill there, lethal damage, whatever you want to say. Get them back up again by exploding. And some more lethal damage. And it's really fast once you get on a roll. You just keep going back to Urskaya doing difficulty 12. And it's the fastest way to get uh, medals now. And medals are really important, so... It's also one of the fastest ways now to get gold, as you can see. 2,000 gold right there, and the battles can go as fast as 20 seconds each. So that's 6,000 gold in a minute. Plus this 500 over here. And uh, I probably don't have all my gold uh, stuff on, like um, my armor and whatnot, so I could probably get even higher. Alright, so that's number five. Let's go to number four. Let's do, I think this, is that right? Number four. All right, so this, like I said, it's just the most useful team. So if you take this team into PVP, you're gonna lose if you go to tro uh, three trophy. So the, re the way I'm doing this is it's the most useful teams throughout the year. So this is really useful for things like daily tasks. Um, difficulty 1, Explore, um, stuff like that. Things where you want to go fast. Extra turn, 
So you explode the leprechaun, which gets up the Rowan, and it one shots the other team. Pretty easy. The first troop can pretty much be anything as long as you're not blocking your, uh, Rowan. You don't want it to be green or blue. The leprechaun is the ex the instant explosion to get Rowan up instantly to kill the other team instantly. And uh, the Mirage Queen is there for the last trait. All, em all elementals start battle with 50% mana. So the Rowan gets a 50% mana start. The leprechaun starts empowered. It blows up the board. It gets Rowan its full mana. And then it instant kills the whole other team pretty much. See how it gets up with just one leprechaun? And then boom, really fast. Good for getting class EXP and stuff like that. And just getting fast stuff done that's easy. So, you know, trying to think here. Daily tasks, obviously. Um, early explore battles, like difficulty one, if you want to just go really fast and get trade stones. Um, the early challenges, like difficulty one and two and stuff like that. Anything where you're going fast. All the daily tasks it can pretty much do, except for like legendary, stuff like that. So, that is my number four. Alright, what is number three? I'm trying to remember. Let's go to dungeons. This one you can use in PvP. Um, it's one of the best teams on Nintendo Switch because they're a little bit behind everybody else, but it's also just a really good team on everything else. It's good for your defense team. It's good on, uh, what day? Transform all brown gems to red. It's good on brown day as a defense team for Guild Wars. So it's, those are its two main uh, functions. Guild Wars defense on brown day, and you can use it for your just normal defense team because it's really good in, as a defense team. And then it's just also really good if you want to use it for PvP or anything else. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like the best team, but it's really good. It's one of the top top three, that's for sure. Um, what's supposed to happen is Taipan will transform all brown gems to red, which will get everything else up and get you going. But sometimes you don't get alignment, so you gotta wait on it a little bit, but... Um, just keep grabbing all these extra turns here. We got Flame of Fire. That would get a lot of red on the board, so we might as well do that. Who do we got here? Uh, we'll just go after this guy. Get a kill, and then you look for Yao Gui Alignment. One of the best legendaries in the game. Turns purple gems to red and does a bunch of damage. Uh, but we do have Taipan Alignment right now. Don't think we need it, but I just want to show it off, so here we go. Gives you a bunch of red. Now we're just looking for purple and red alignment, which I don't see. But we'll go ahead and do it anyway, because there's a little bit of it, like right here. And right here. So, Yao Gui. Queen Titania does a bunch of damage, uh, based by red enemies and allies. And if there are 13 or more red gems, gain an extra turn. And there's 13, so we'd get an extra turn. But we don't need it because we're just doing dungeons right here. But this can be used in PvP. At least two trophy battles, I'd say. But even three trophy battles if you get a good board. Which we haven't got yet. Still don't have alignment for Taipan, but okay. Try to get Flame of Fire then. I'm using Titan with this team. I think I've used Titan with every team so far that we showed, except for the f number four team. You can use whatever you want to use to level it up, because it just goes so fast it doesn't matter. But for the Scorpius team, I'd use Titan. And for the Rowan team, I would use one that you want to level up. So we got our Yao Gui alignment right here. It's going to do a bunch of damage, probably one shot. And then we get Taipan, hopefully. Here we go, Taipan alignment right here. Look for Yao Gui again. Here's some Yao Gui, we might be able to do that. But let's do uh, Queen Titania, because it's over 13. Get a little free damage, so that Yao Gui will kill, for sure. 
and bam all right what's our next team um I'm finish out dungeons by doing this getting two things done at once here so that was our number three the Yaogwe Queen Titania team number two Forest Troll, King Gob Truffle, King Gob Truffle, Doomed Glaive. So, another caveat for this uh, list is that they don't have to come out in the year 2019, but these did come out in 2019. King Gob Truffle came out in 2019, uh, so definitely good for this list. But uh, I want to show it in something a little bit more difficult. Let's go to the Underworld, maybe. Where can we go? Um, definitely could go to Amnithrax, right? Let's see if we can do this. I should have set this up beforehand, but... Oh, jeez. I should already have one. Dang it. Where can we go? Come on. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's just go do it in the dungeon or whatever. Alright. To battle. So, Forest Troll... Doubles the number of green on the board, then creates three green gems. It also entangles. Gob Truffle. Deal 25 damage to all enemies. Create a mix of green and brown. Boosted by poison and diseased enemies, and you gain an extra turn. It's a goblin, so gain an extra turns, gain an extra turns. Bunch of good alignment. It's an infinite loop team. Really awesome. If you don't have the gob truffles up, you'll have the forest troll, and then you'll have the gob truffles up, you know what I mean? Some green there. Usually you want to get the forest troll up first, just to get rolling. So there we go, cast the forest troll. Now we got our gob truffles, and they can just go nuts. And you almost, the other team probably won't get another turn, if we don't want them to. See, they did not get another turn. That was pretty awesome. So, really cool team. Maybe we'll go show it in PvP also, since that was pretty short. Do two trophy. Show it one more time. Let's try to get our forest troll up. Got it. Ooh, we got Gob Truffle, might as well. And then Forest Troll. Gob Truffle. Gob Truffle. Uh. <clears throat> Forest Troll. Gob Truffle. Gob Truffle. Gob Truffle. See, they never got another turn. And that was it. I think they got one turn in that battle. Two trophy PvP. Pretty good. Second best team of the year. You could say it's the best team of the year because it's the only team on this list where the troops came out this year, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the number one team I've been saying all year and I've made videos about this already is the key team. Now this may not have came out this year and you could say it was the best team of 2018 because I think that's when it came to prominence. But I had the Doom Skull team as the best team of 2018 because it was there almost the whole year and I was using it the whole year. Uh, the key team came in at the end of the year. It is now the, one of the best meta teams in the game. It's starting to fall off a little bit, but I've had it as my best team all year, so we might as well make it the team of 2019, the number one team of 2019, the key team. Really good team because you get a bunch of gold as you get a bunch of wins. It's a really good team. Cedric makes your uh, gold total higher so you can do more damage. Uh, Egg Thief explodes and summons so you almost never lose. And the key does damage based on your gold. And got a lot of gold because you got greed giving you a lot of gold. And the Cedric's giving you a higher max gold. So, And all of that gold talk gives you a lot of gold for winning. So it's really good gold farming team. Just take some sort of green or red. Uh, you can use this team with Thief or Titan. Thief is probably better if you put a bunch of summons on your talents. Uh, just to make yourself more defensive. I don't know why I did that. I just messed up the team. You gotta do Greed first of all. Before you do anything else. 
so I just screwed up. Hopefully we don't lose now. It's hard to lose with this team, though. It's so awesome. You want to get your gold to 200, then cast your key. And just egg thief whenever you have it, unless you have the key up. Boom, we win. That was two trophy. That's a lot of gold. Let's do one more battle, and we'll be done. It's a revenge battle. Pretty cool. So yeah, best team of 2019 is the key team. Because I've been saying it all year, it deserves the spot. It's the number one team of 2019. You could say it was the number te one team of 2018 also, but like I said, the Doom Skull team was awesome all year that year, so I put that as my number one for 2018. We're going to put the key team as the number one team for 2019. It's just overall the most useful team in the game right now. Because you get to farm as you get everything else done. And it's powerful enough to do everything else. So you're farming as you're being super powerful and winning at a high rate. So we need red and green. We did our greed right away, like I say. Now we're just going to do Egg Thief. If they don't kill us, we might get trolled here. That'd be honest, really awesome on this video. There we go. Come on, baby. I don't want to do that because we'll lose our turn. There we go. They killed our first troop, but we got... I think I'm using Orb Weaver, so we got a giant spider. Um, We could do purple, I guess. Hope for some cascades. We need red or green here. Red or green, red or green, where are you at? We'll let them have the skulls, I guess. We got some summons. We're okay. I hope so. There's our deviled eggs. And... Ooh, almost got it. Come on, baby. Egg Thief can do some damage on its own. Egg Thief, one of the best troops in the year. So that's the team. The number one team of 2019. The key team. So, there's your video. Key team's number one team. Number two is the Gob Truffle team, the Infinite Loop team. Number three is the Flamifire, Yao Gui, Queen Titania, uh, Taipan team. Really good, number one on Switch because they're behind a little bit. And just really good for defense on Brown Guild Wars and uh, just regular defense. Number four is the Quick team, the Rowane team. Rowane, really fast, gets all those easy battles done that you gotta do every day. Number five is the Scorpius Urali team because it's awesome and explore to get those medals at Urskaya. Um, so please like, share, subscribe. I hope you like this video. It's December now, so I'm going to be putting out some more of these end of year videos, and I hope you like them. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.